Greetings everyone. Welcome to English Talk. Today we will learn new story named The Tricky Wolf and the Rats. Let's get started. The Tricky Wolf and the Rats. A wolf lived near a colony of rats. Each night he would see the huge swarm of rats passing by his den. Soon he began to think of a plan to catch them. The rats were fat and fleshy and there were so many of them. If I ate one rat each night, I will not have to worry about my daily dinner for a long time, the wolf thought. But how could he catch them? The rats were fast and quick. Any attempt to get at them will scare the whole gang away and then they will never take that route. At last the wolf thought of a plan. He needed to make the rats pity him. Then they would not be afraid of him. Once they started to come close, the wolf would have his way. Thinking thus, the wolf decided to wait for the swarm. That evening, he stood on his hind legs, closed one of his eyes and kept on panting and breathing through his open mouth like a very sick person. Soon, the swarm of rats came pouring down the road. A very fat rat was their chief. He was very brave and intelligent and the rats respected him a lot. As the rats streamed past the wolf, their chief noticed the pitiful condition of the wolf. He came near him and asked, Poor wolf, you seem to be in pain. What is the matter with you? Nothing, whizzed the wolf. Nevertheless, thank you so much for asking. But you do look to be in a bad shape, insists the chief. Look at the way you are standing on two legs. I'm lamb, replied the wolf. I am unable to use my front legs. Anyway, two legs are enough for me and I don't need more. And it looks like you have lost one of your eyes too, said the concerned chief. Oh yes, but that's nothing. You can see the world just as well with one eye. I don't really need to see more. You are breathing through your mouth, exclaimed the rat. It serves the purpose. Why bother using the nostrils? And by keeping the mouth open, I can also feed on the air. I draw in. That is my only food. I don't really need to eat more. I try not to complain. I'm just fine the way I am. The chief of the reds realized. <coughs> that this was saintly person. Every evening he took his gang with him to visit the wolf and spend some time with the pious animal who was suffering a lot and yet did not complain. They talked for some time each day and then took leave. Every day as the rats left his den, the wolf would pounce on the last rat in the swamp and feed on it. The group never knew what went on at the tail of the procession. This went on for many days as the population of rats began to dwindle. The chief realized something was wrong. He suspected the wolf had a role in it. However, 
he could not be sure. The next day, the chief decided to stay at the end of the swamp. After the evening visit, as the group was leaving the wolf's den, the wolf lunged at the last rat as usual, but the chief was careful and alert. He quickly stepped aside and avoided the attack. So you are neither lamb nor blind and not breedless as you show it to be, quipped the rat. Then upon his order, the pack of rats bit and chased the wolf. He ran for his dear life, crossed the river and was never seen again. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.